Hello there. Welcome back to the channel. So guys, I have two opportunities for you with a new to this channel company called Lifetime of, I'm sorry, Lifeline of Ohio. They are an independent nonprofit organization and they promote and coordinate the donation of human organs and tissue for transplantation. They save and heal lives through the gifts of donations, and they lead organ, eye, and tissue donations, changing lives and empowering communities. Now, on Glassdoor, they have a 3.2 out of 5-star rating, and they were founded in 1985, and they have between 51 to 200 employees. Now, they have two remote opportunities. One is for day shift. It's the same title opportunity, but one is for day shift paying up to $24 an hour. And the uh, same job, they have a night shift opportunity paying up to $28 an hour. Now for these position, for this position, they prefer that you have a certification in healthcare or a degree in uh, the healthcare field, but is not required. Also, uh, they do ask that you have a, a couple of years of experience, okay? So before we get into these, this opportunity with Lifeline of Ohio, I wanna talk to you about uh, a cause that I'm raising money for. So some of you may not know, but families that are dealing with an organ don donor situation, the bills can skyrocket. So what I'm doing is participating in raising money to help pay off a lot of the bills for families that have to deal with organ donations. And I got this idea from this movie called Ordinary Angels is based on an extraordinary true story. And I want to tell you a little bit about, about the movie. So as you can see, so far they raised over $22,000, which has eliminated more than 2 million in medical debt. So according um, to this movie, they uh, is based on a true story, and it centers around Sharon, who's played by Hilary Swank, and she's a fierce but struggling hairdresser in a small town in Kentucky who discovers a renewed sense of purpose when she meets Ed, a widower, working hard to make ends meet for his two daughters. With his youngest daughter waiting for a liver transplant, Sharon sets her mind to helping the family and will move mountains to do it, including having his medical bills erased. So now you can join in with me in the movement of Ordinary Angels, which is the gift of debt relief. And it's going to be a life-changing uh movement. And so for every dollar that you donate, they will turn that dollar into a hundred dollars. Their goal is $10 million. And that's going to be used to pay off the bills for the families. Now, I know some of you are going to say, man, what difference does a dollar make? But it will make a great difference in a family that has these mounting medical bills. It's, it's just one dollar is less than um, a cup of coffee from Starbucks is less than a bag of chips from the gas station. So, um, you know, this would be a great way to make a difference in someone's life. It's just a dollar because as you can see here, this 20 mil, 20,000 was turned into 2 million because for every dollar, again, every dollar, they will turn it into a hundred dollars. So, if you, I would like for you to donate. So I'm going to leave the link for the donation in the description box. Let me know if you, if you donated your $1, I want to show you something here. Okay. I'm going to go here to donate and you can put in the amount. So $1, right. And you go down here to donate. They're going to add in a 40 cents. That's 
a transaction cost, which um, you know will help cover the processing and platform fees. It's just forty cents, so it will be a total of a dollar forty, and you can pay for this with your credit card, PayPal, Google Pay, Venmo, or bank transfer. It's just one dollar, and when they add in the transaction fee, forty cents, so a total of one dollar and forty cents. And that dollar will be turned into a hundred dollars. So make sure you click on that link and donate. All right, guys, I really appreciate it. All right. So let's talk about these, this opportunity with Lifeline of Ohio. So I'm going to click here. So uh, Lifeline of Ohio, you know, they are creating a legacy of changing lives forever. You can read go here on their site and get facts about what they do. You can look at, read stories of hope and um, more information here. We're going to continue to scroll down. They have a lot of stories here about the organ donation. Here's one. Daniel saved seven lives and this person says including mine so you can read a lot of those stories here from organ donation they have featured programs and as we scroll down when we go over here where it says about us we're going to click on careers and when we click on careers we're going to scroll down and we can look at the current openings as you can see here they have some um, positions that are actually um, on site, but these are the two remote positions. It's the same position. It's just a day shift and a night shift. There's the donation support services coordinator. Now, just like I stated, the day shift position, we're going to scroll down here. Excuse me, guys, my allergy sinuses. <sighs> And it's paying $21 to $24 an hour. And then we're going to go back and look. Uh, we're going to go back here. Sorry. Sorry, guys. And we're going to look at the night shift because I want you to see here. We're going to scroll down. And it is paying $25 to $28 an hour. Now, for these positions... They're full time. They're offering you great benefits. We're going to scroll up and talk more about this uh, donation support services coordinator. So as the donation support services coordinator, you're going to obtain and enter patient medical and social information provided by partners. You're going to work closely with hospital staff, funeral homes, coroners, tissue technicians, and organ recovery staff to coordinate the donation process. You're going to ensure pertinent referral and case information is communicated to the appropriate internal and external stakeholders. You're also going to communicate with external partners and provide necessary follow-up, identify initial suitability for tissue donors, Provide clinical information to team leads or administrators that are on call. Uh, um, assess appropriate state donor registry for registry status or make contact with the appropriate organ uh, procurement organization for designation. And then uh, assist organ recovery team with initial call in organ potential cases. Uh, for example, importing and um, heart beating referrals, things like that. All right. So you're also going to uh, document and evaluate relevant suitability criteria for all potential tissue donors. Understand and apply all internal and external policies, procedures, and standards that are relevant to donor suitability and build a positive, productive, and professional rapport with tissue processor staff. Now, for this position, um, they do ask that you have a certification. I mentioned this in the beginning, a certification in a healthcare-related field or a secondary degree in education, medical, or healthcare. That's preferred, not required. 
And they do ask that you have two years or more experience working in a call center environment or relevant combination of the above um, listed education and experience. And if you're able to work night shift, this is the night shift and the day shift is the same duties. Now we talked about some of the responsibilities of the job. So we talked about the referral initiation, the evaluation, then you have the authorization, consulting with the partners, internal and external, in the coordination and do and authorization and um, UDRAI process for potential donors. Uh, work with authorizing agents to identify and discuss donation potential, provide core elements during authorization with donor families, support next of kin with follow up as needed, comply screening questionnaire per governing agency guidelines, contact tissue processors for review and acceptance of the donor, communicate authorization information to both internal and external stakeholders, document all required information in a charting database and work with quality and regulatory affairs to ensure documentation standards are met and any deviations from policy or protocol are documented. Then you go here into the charge part of your job, which includes communicating with the coordinators on shift to task out referral assignments. Once initial referral is completed, and you know the initial referral was the first process up at the top, manage equal individual workload, complete all touch base calls during progression of the case and post case follow ups, determine appropriate approach intervals, ensure all case checklists are being completed in a timely manner during the progression of the case and in accordance with the individual tasks for specific assignments and deliver shift report and receive shift report from the previous shift charge. And that's it guys. Other than this education and experience, they would like for you to have the ability to work collaboratively with, with people from various backgrounds. You must be friendly, helpful, and professional, and you must have great verbal and written communication skills. You need to be detail-oriented and have a high degree of data entry. You must be able to understand complex policies and procedures and follow directions accurately. You must be computer literate and be able to utilize multiple browsers and the healthcare applications, which I'm sure they're going to train you on. They don't state that here, but I believe they will give you some training, of course. All jobs will, you know. And uh, you must have a commitment and enthusiasm about this organization's mission and their programs. Now, guys, for um, this position also, I want to show you one of the benefits. They are going to uh, pay for any certifications that you may have or may need and any renewals that you may need to renew on your certification. And you, even though this is a great high paying hourly rate, they're going to provide you with performance bonuses. All right, guys. So I'm going to go back to the careers page. So if you are interested in applying for either one of these fully remote positions, you're going to click on that job. You're going to click on the apply button and follow the application process. You're going to upload your resume, go through everything else that they ask, and um, you could possibly be contacted for an interview with Lifeline of Ohio and making a difference in someone's life. So guys, if you made it to the end of this video, I want to thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and share this video. Make sure you click on that link that I have for you to donate your $1 and spread the word. Give the link, share the link with other 
people that you know and don't know who could also donate that one dollar that one dollar is going to be turned into a hundred dollars and it's going to make a great difference uh, in these families lives that have these huge medical bills uh, when they have to have an organ donor transplant all right and uh the link for this website and the jobs all of that are in the description box below as always i wish you all the best in your work from home journey and i'll see you in the next video